Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, President Balotinibu has directed the Ministry of Education to include the National Open University graduates in the National Youth Service Corps scheme. The directive was delivered by the Deputy Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, NUC, Biodun Saliyu, during the 13th Convocation Ceremony of the National Open University in Nigeria in Jabi, Abuja. Saliyu also addressed the admission of the university's law graduates to law school, ensuring equal opportunities for all. He added that this move reflects the government's recognition of the changing demographics and commitment to providing an enabling environment for quality education in Nigeria. At number two, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, is set to arraign former Kogi State Governor Yahaya Adoza Bello before a federal high court in Abuja, along with three other suspects on charges of money laundering totaling 80.2 billion naira. In a statement signed by the head media and publicity, Dele Oyewale, Bello's arraignment follows a warrant of arrest and enrollment order granted to the EFCC by the courts on Wednesday, April 17th. Oyewale stated that despite the resistance during the execution of the warrant, the EFCC is committed to bringing Bello to justice. The EFCC also issued a stern warning to members of the public, stating that it is a criminal offence to obstruct the Commission's officers from carrying out their lawful duties. It added that the EFCC Establishment Act Section 38, Subsection 2, A and B makes it clear that obstructing EFCC officers on assignment is punishable by up to five years in prison. At number three, an officer of the Nigeria Customs Service, NCS, Awal Haruna, was killed by an angry mob on Wednesday morning in Dankama, a border town in Kaita local government area, Katsina State. The incident occurred when the driver of a truck, loaded with goods and passengers, refused to stop for routine checks by customs operatives, leading to an altercation where an officer allegedly fired gunshots at the moving truck, killing a passenger. In retaliation, the mob attacked and lynched one of the officers, Awal Haruna, who sought refuge in a nearby building. The command's spokesperson, Tahir Balabari, confirmed the death, attributing it to mob action during duty. At number four, the semi-final fixtures for this year's Champions League have been set, with Bayern Munich set to face Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain taking on Borussia Dortmund. Bayern Munich secured their spot by defeating Arsenal 1-0 at the Alliance Arena, while Real Madrid advanced after a 1-1 draw with Manchester City and a 4-3 victory in the penalty shootout. Paris Saint-Germain eliminated Barcelona with a 6-4 aggregate win and Dortmund beat Atletico Madrid with a 5-4 aggregate victory. The semi-final matches are scheduled for April 30th and May 7th, 2024. At number five, Ghana's LGBT community and activists are in urge as they await President Nana Akufo-Addo's decision on whether to sign a bill that would impose harsher restrictions on their rights. According to Reuters, the bill passed unanimously by Parliament in February would criminalize the promotion or support of LGBT rights, adding to existing penalties for gay sex. Many fear that the law, if enacted, would embolden violence and discrimination against LGBT individuals who already face widespread intolerance in the country. A delay in signing the bill has sparked a political row with Parliamentary Speaker Alban Bakbin calling the president's inaction unconstitutional. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.